Serena has been able to shake off those baby blues but admits that she has not quite hit the mark. Byron has the rest of the story on Sports News. Betway, the premium online sports betting experience, is now live in Nigeria. Now, she may uh, still be rusty, but she's looking certainly beautiful. Thank you, Melinda, and welcome to Sports News. Serena Williams has conceded that she's yet to hit top form in her return to professional tennis. The 36-year-old who did not enough to secure a 7-5-6-3 win over Zarina Diaz in the first round at Indian Wells, despite being a little rusty. She made 27 unforced errors with 34 winners to defeat her 53rd ranked opponent. Williams is unseated at the Indian Wells and could meet her sister, Venus, in the third round. Also making a comeback is Victoria Azarenka. Despite being out of action for eight months, she convincingly dispatched Heather Watson 6-4-6-2. The two-time Grand Slam winner last played at Wimbledon in July before the legal battle over the custody of her son kept her off the court. A commanding display in the first set saw Azarenka race to a 5-1 lead, but Watson fought back to make it 5-4 before the Belarusian regained control of the game. And ahead of the Russia 2018 World Cup, Poland coach Adam Mwanka has named Bayern Munich forward Robert Lewandowski and goalkeeper Wojciech Zenski of Juventus and Lukas Fabianski of Swansea for this month's international friendly against the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Poland and Nigeria, who will face feature at the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia, will clash at the Royal Close Stadium on March the 23rd. Other notable names in the list are Borussia Dortmund right back, Lukas Pizek, Gregor Kreitcho, who plays for West Brom, and AS Monaco centre back Camille Glick. And with that, we end on Sports News for tonight. I'm Barong Tony Ranta, and Melinda will be back for the wrap. Betway, the premium online sports betting experience, is now live in Nigeria. Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta and the opposition leader Raila Odinga have promised to begin a process of reconciliation following last year's bitterly contested election. The President and Mr Odinga spoke on national television after holding their first public meeting since the poll. Earlier this year, Mr Odinga swore himself in as the people's president and refused to recognize Mr Kenyatta as the country's leader. A historic day in Kenya indeed to see those two men shake hands. And in entertainment news, what's hogging the headlines at the moment is Tiwa Savage's international collaboration. Maya Waugundile has the rest of the story.
Many thanks. Here are top stories from entertainment. Maven Records first lady Tiwa Savage's much talked about collaboration with American single Marion has been released. The song is a remix of Savage's Get It Now, which was originally released as part of her last EP, Sugar Cane. The song Stress made this known via social media Instagram, where she expressed excitement at having worked with the Grammy winning crooner who rose to fame via the now defunct boy band B2K. YBN boss Olamide has reportedly proposed to his longtime girlfriend and mother of his son, Bukumi, who has been with him for several years. A screenshot of a post online currently circulating shows a science student crooner pictured with Bukumi with a caption reading, quote, My senior wife, we have a wedding to plan, end of quote. Leg of a crooner, Mr. Easy, says he almost had his song feature in Marvel's record-breaking superhero movie, Black Panther, but was unsuccessful as it was likely edited out of the initial four-hour cut. He made this known during an exclusive chat with Entertainment News on Channel's television. I also almost lost one record in there, but I think somewhere along the line, I think the scene, that scene got, wasn't in the final edit. And that's it for me. Thanks for watching. The rest of the news continues short. And the main news again. An attack on Miango in Basa, local government area of Plateau State today, left five people dead. This incident occurred just as President Muhammadu Buhari concluded a two-day working visit to the state after launching a tractor ownership scheme project in Jos. Also today, Governor Samuel Otom said killings have continued in Benue State despite the deployment of security forces as the Victim Support Fund began an assessment of the condition of IDPs in the state. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Melinda Akinami.